Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet heading to Five Below to look for some really good holiday finds. It can be super overwhelming to shop at Five Below. So in this video, I wanted to show you like the main spots to hit and show you a couple of Purple Alphabet favorites. Let's head into the store. Lots of Christmas things at Five Below right now, but we are going to the normal parts of the store because I'm gonna show you some sections you need to stop in, what to look for, and some Purple Alphabet favorites. Starting off with the book section, lots of great book selections right now, perfect gifts or something to add onto your shelves. I really do like this Color Your Own Sticker book. It's not technically a book book, but it is a favorite in our house. Tons of stickers in here and you can color them with some really pretty markers and use them as stickers. This is a great mindfulness activity. They did have a couple of adult ones I wanted to point out like this Wordle challenge or if you have an older child that is into Wordle that was kind of fun and then they had this 321 creative prompts this one is definitely for adults because there were some adult topics in here so this might be a great thing to put on your list or to grab when you're in five below for yourself lots of great journaling exercises in this one just wanted to mention that okay so we're gonna move on to the kid stuff this is really good it's an activity book for social skills what a great way to talk about social skills work on it together and it's an inner interactive book. Look through this and see if it might fit for your child. They also had this tongue twister book from Highlights, which would be great for your first, second, third grader. Really fun tongue twisters inside of this one. More Highlights books. This one is School Puzzles. I love all the Highlights books and you will find a lot of them at Five Below and all kinds of different styles. So those are definitely a score. This one was closed, so I couldn't flip through it, but it said it had science, math, and art and drawing activities inside. There's a couple of books in there for $5. I think two books for the five dollars another highlights one this one is amazing mazes mazes are a great activity to work on a pen control this one looked like more advanced mazes they also have a lot of reading books you know beginner readers and all kinds of different topics this is a staple at five below they are always here in different ones so if you look through them you'll see they have all kinds of different styles as far as fiction and non-fiction a definite must another purple alphabet favorite here's a feelings book and it is a fill-in the blank book. I just think these are great to have as conversation starters, working on maybe a little section per day. Definitely a great find. And this one is for ages four to eight. They do have workbooks too. I know a lot of homeschoolers like to look through these and use them for supplemental work, all kinds of different topics. I've gotten a couple from here below and have had great luck with them. Another highlights favorites. These are puzzles. I mean, really, these highlights are really, really good. I love them. Here's a purple alphabet favorite it is things to draw. So it walks you through all kinds of drawing exercises. Love this one. Next section to check out would be the art supplies. I love the art supplies here. I think the sketchbooks and the pads of paper are actually a really good find because you can find different ones, mixed media, watercolor, drawing paper, and also in different styles. Do love this adjustable artboard easel for your tabletop, $5. That is a good find. That's a purple alphabet favorite for sure. They also had this wooden tabletop easel that comes in the black and the white. I think these you can write on, which is pretty amazing. Love this little set here that comes with all kinds of painting supplies in one. I think this is pretty cool. And then I do like the canvases that have the printed pictures on them. And all you have to do is fill them in with whatever colors you want. Now the paints and stuff I have not used. If you have, let me know if you think they're good. I do think this is really cute right here. They're little glitter shakers for arts projects, resin crafts for adults, lots of options. Moving on to the game section. Now the game section can be a little tricky because they have a lot of generic games games. Be on the lookout for some really good generic ones. I like this word pile. It's like upwards, I think. I think, I think maybe that's the main game. They are basically the name brand game, just a little bit more cheaply made and have the same concept as those main games. Like this one here is a knockoff of Hungry Hungry Hippo, but it's basically turtles. So, you know, you get the drift. Lots of ideas for those. If you don't mind getting generic, it can save you a lot of money. I do like this 100 classic games here in one. There's lots of games to do inside this one using the four game board. This is your operation, but on a dinosaur. Very, very clever. And of course, here is Guess Who, but it's just called Who Is It instead. This Mancala is actually super nice. It's wooden, and I think this is a beautiful set. And for $5, that is a really good find too. I love me a good game of Mancala. But if you do want the name brand games, you can find them here. They're just smaller versions. So 
if you want to save some money to get these versions, they're just smaller. Most of the time they're travel size, which is probably what you want anyway, but they did have some really good things. I found so many of these right now. Here's Trouble. I also found Guess Who and even Battleship back there in the corner peeking out. These are grab and go games as they call them. So they are perfect for travel. These are each $5, but just look out. You're going to find some. Check out this girl talk. Does anybody remember this from the 80s? I totally had it. In fact, I think the picture on the box is the exact same picture that was on the Girl Talk box back in the 80s. I think this is hilarious, but yeah, flashback right there. Here's another good find, Clue. It's the miniature one too. Once again, $5 on the Clue. And then they even had a Connect 4, just a smaller version. So I just think these are fabulous. Here is a Monopoly too. Although I would have to say I'm not a big fan of Monopoly. It just goes on forever. It's a long game. Here's a bonus find for the games. I wanted to show these because they are all $5, but they are transparent. So you can use these as intended as a checkers game, as a tic-tac-toe game, but wouldn't these be great on a light table? And it may be building with them, like this little Jenga tower here or the X's and O's. I just think that is a great way to start using them at a younger pre-K age. This impossible puzzle cracked me up. It's 100% clear. I don't think that'd be a lot of fun to put together, but these would be really great light table games and then when your child gets older and they can do the game you can still use the game on the light table that would be fun or you can use it as its intended purpose there's backgammon there's chess there's connect four there's the impossible puzzle so many different options but my favorite has to be the tower because of the rainbow colors and five dollars each this is actually a really good deal you could get a couple of those jenga towers and have a lot of building fun on a light table win for sure purple alphabet favorite on that one next section to hit up is the toy section now the toy section is a little bit more difficult because they do have a lot of generic items on here. So the quality might be sacrificed for the price. I did see these little art kits down here, this wooden painting kit I thought was really cute. This also came in a different style too that has pets in it. Comes with the paint, the paint brushes and the wood figures. I think that one's worth it. Do look for those name brand things like these potato heads. These potato heads came in several different styles. There was the little pirate, there was your traditional one. This one is a little rocker here that comes with a guitar. I think all of these are make excellent gifts and are perfect for the preschool age. This little Robo Alive is also a name brand toy. You'll see this over at Target. Not sure if it's cheaper at Target though. This Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles construction set was pretty cool because it's using those Lego bricks. Remember in my Dollar Tree, I showed you those blind bags. This would be perfect to use with this. I love me a good Forky kid. This is so adorable. This Peanuts puzzle is $5 and it's a thousand pieces. That is a steal. They also had smaller puzzles here. These Pokemon ones, you will find these at Target too. And they had different styles. Each five below I've gone to has had different puzzles. The next section to check out would be fidgets. They have a whole aisle filled with all kinds of different fidgets, lots of bubble poppers, and these are all the name brand ones that you would find at Target or you'd find at Walmart or even online on Amazon, but they have quite a few choices. They also have these little spongy bands. I've tried these before in the past and we like those. I think maybe last Christmas we got these. They have a whole bunch of different fidgets that I haven't even seen yet. I'm not even sure how this one works, obviously, but this one, would be new to me. These little alien bubble poppers. They kind of look like magnet tiles. The glow tubes. These are cool because they glow in the dark and they do that popping noise. You can connect them together. These are little fidget spheres where they have buttons and doodads that you can push in the palm of your hand. The planet popper is really cute too. One giant toy with all the mini poppers inside. They have a whole bunch of squeeze toys, which everybody has obviously already squeezed. This is called an inside out ball, which had a lot of texture to it. You could totally create a whole fidget box, do a whole stocking stuffer section with all of the toys here. I do like the kinetic sand, but I think you can get a better deal with a larger package over at Target. They did have this whole section of Taco Bell themed squishies, which were interesting. And then these would have to be probably a favorite. I haven't used them yet, but they looked really interesting where you push all the beads and the little seek and finds through the maze. I think that would be a really great calming activity. Also good for fine motor control 
able to getting things. This reminds me of a sensory bag, basically. They had a couple different styles in those. A few more along the bottom here, we have a whole bunch of different textured balls that kind of come in all kinds of different styles with animals or plain or little things hanging off of them. Check this out, it's a mini sensory box. This was really cool. It's totally small, I have to say that, but it does come with a whole bunch of sensory finds. That was kind of a neat thing to see. This is a bonus section. Definitely check out the sports section. Depending on what store you are in will kind of vary on all the items they have in here. But if you need any type of ball, definitely check Five Below. They have so many different balls, all kinds of different playground balls, beach balls, soccer balls, mini little volleyballs, lots to choose from here. You definitely can find a couple. This would be great for preschoolers if you're starting your collection. They did have a selection of kites if you live in an area where you can fly a kite. And these were actually decent kites too. They come in all kinds of different styles and different pictures on of them. A couple of, they call these tennis rackets, but they're more like badminton rackets. This little air hockey table in the Connect 4, also fun to play outdoors because they're the giant ones or they're a little bit bigger. They do cost a little bit more at $12. Love this table tennis game. I think that was pretty cool. They even had some little plates so you can play softball or baseball. I thought that was cool. There's also a paddle ball set here. Some wiffle balls captured the flag set, but this one is glow in the dark so it lights up and even in a dark game. So many great finds and great prices. I hope that I've inspired you maybe to look for one or two things. Who knows, maybe some last minute gifts. Thank you so much for sharing the Purple Alphabet with your friends, family. I just really, really appreciate that. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.